Once upon a time. Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsville and I have a little story for you today. A fairy tale, if you will. So, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We're, we're going back to a, an early version of the story, so you're gonna notice uh, a couple of differences from the story that, that most of us are familiar with. Um, not least of all, no Goldilocks. Seems like a big one, but uh, but let's see. Let's see what we got. So, <clears throat> once upon a time, there were three bears. Not not a baby bear, a mama bear, and a daddy bear, like you may have heard, but three bachelor bears. Three daddy bears. Just three bears happily cohabitating in a house in the woods. One is small, one is big, one is medium-sized, but let's get one thing clear right off the bat. They are all consenting adults. Everything in the house was sized accordingly to the three bachelor bears. Little small wee furniture for the little small wee bear, great huge furniture for the great huge bear, and, uh, and medium-sized furniture for the medium-sized bear. I, I guess there just um, weren't as many synonyms for medium. Now every day the three bachelor bears would make porridge for themselves at breakfast time, each bowl tempered to each bear's liking. They'd cook it up, pour it into their wee great and medium sized porridge pots, and then they'd go out for a walk in the woods to let it cool down. Look, I know what's going to happen in the story and I'm, I'm not trying to victim blame here, but what's all that about? Who, who, who cooks food for themselves and goes, oh, this is too hot, this is too hot for me to eat. I'd better go for a jog. I eat porridge, I love porridge. I'm a porridge girly. I get it, sometimes it's too hot to start eating right away. Sure, absolutely, but never has a bowl of porridge been so hot that I thought I'd better leave it alone in the house for a while. But, you know, whatever, regardless, the bears leave, and while they're gone, this little old lady comes by. The words used to describe this woman every time she's mentioned in the story, I'm, I'm just gonna make a, a master statement up top of all of the combined adjectives so you get kind of the feel for it. <coughs> Little old, little old, impudent, bad old, naughty old, bad little old, naughty old, wicked little old, little old, naughty old, little old, little old, little old, little old, ugly, dirty, little old, little old, vagrant. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Yes, we did it! What we can ascertain from this is that she was elderly, she was small in stature, and the storyteller didn't like her very much. So anyway, she comes by and she peeps in through the windows and she puts her eye up to the keyhole, which frankly seems like overkill if you've already looked through the windows, but you know, do you? The woman tries the door and finds it unlocked because as we're told, the bachelor bears are good, trusting citizens. So the woman goes inside and she's stoked to see three servings of porridge sitting there steaming away. She's starving. The text tells us that if she were a good person, she would have waited for the three bachelor bears to come home, and then perhaps they would have invited her to join them for breakfast, because we all know that's how society reacts to the hungry. So she's a bad old lady who breaks in and she starts eating the porridge. First, she tries the big bear's porridge, but it's too hot for her. So she says something profane because she's bad. Then she tries the middle bear's porridge and it's too cold. And so she cusses it out too. These given porridge temperatures just make me question the bear's walk through the woods even more, but I'm gonna let it slide. The little bear though, his porridge is the perfect temperature for a naughty old woman, not too hot. Not too cold, but just right. She ate it all up, but still ended up cursing more because there wasn't enough porridge. Then she decides to go around and try all the furniture. Not, not for any discernible reason, she just wants to sit in all the chairs, like me at an op shop. She tries Big Bear's chair, too hard, get f your She tries the Middle Bear's chair, too soft, piece of Finally, she tries the Little Bear's chair and it's just right. Not too hard, not too soft, but it is structurally unsound. It breaks as soon as she sits in it and she falls to the ground. Beep, 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 beep. Now the woman is tired from all of her criminal activity, I guess, because she goes upstairs to the bed chamber. I think you can tell where this is going. First, she lies down in the great big bed, but it was um, too high at the head. I don't know what that means. That sounds old fashioned, but uh, whatever that means, she didn't like it. The middle bear's bed was too high at the foot, so no, no, no. 
No, no. But of course, she has an affinity with the little bear's personal tastes. She likes his bed just right. So she gets herself all snuggled in under the blankets and she falls asleep. Rookie error. The porridge was hot. You know they're gonna be home soon, girl. Do better. By this time, the three bears thought that their porridge would be cool enough. You think? You were gone long enough for a stranger to happen by, have a three course meal, break all of your furniture, and take a nap. That porridge is a gluggy, lukewarm mess. What is wrong with you? They come home. There's spoons in all the porridge. The text makes sure to tell us that they're wooden spoons, explicitly to explain why the woman hasn't stolen them. Honestly, if she had been stealing their silverware, I might respect her more. Each of the bears is like, somebody's been eating my porridge. Hey, somebody's been eating my porridge. Someone has fully eaten all of my porridge. <sighs> This is what the little bear sounds like. So the bears know something is up. Someone has been in the house. They start investigating. The cushions on the hard chair are all messed up. There's a butt print in the soft chair and the little chair is straight up broken. Somebody's been, e somebody's been eating my chair? No. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. You're not complaining about nothing. My chair is literally destroyed. The three bears make their way upstairs to the bedchamber and they see all their bed sheets have been disturbed, left in disarray while the old woman was testing each of them. Somebody's been lying in my bed, rumbles the great huge bear. <laughs> in her sleep, the old woman thought his gruff, deep voice was simply thunder or some roaring wind. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the middle bear. But in her sleep, the old lady thought the distant voice was just someone speaking in her dreams. Eh, there is somebody lying in my bed. Currently, in the present tense. The little small wee bear's voice was so sharp and shrill that the old woman's eyes snapped open and she was instantly alert. She clocks the three bears, rolls out the other side of the bed straight onto her feet and leaps out the window like a ninja. We do not actually get a conclusion. <laughs> There's uh, some speculation that the old woman broke her neck in the fall or ran off into the woods and got lost or made it back to town only to be arrested for her many, many crimes. But some say she's still out there, lurking in the shadows of the forest, waiting for more unsuspecting victims to leave their food unattended. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Dale Kingsmill. You can find my social media links in the description below. If you want to help the channel out financially speaking, we have uh, merch, we have Patreon and channel memberships. Patrons and members get early access to new videos. If you aren't in a position to help that way right now, that's totally fine. I totally get that. You can help out just by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, leave me a comment telling me what you had for breakfast this morning. And if you left it unattended for upwards of 20 minutes, all that kind of engagement pleases the YouTube algorithm and it really does make a real difference so thank you for that. Uh, apart from that I do believe that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma and I'll see you some other time. <laughs> little old, little old, impudent, bad old, naughty old, bad old, little naughty old, wicked little old, little old, naughty old, little old, little old, little old, little old, little old, ugly, dirty, little old, little old, vagrant. Bam! Oh, I think I'm I think I'm immortal now. I think that's what that means.